Thanks so much for clicking on WXYZ.com. I'm 7 First Alert Meteorologist Chris Edwards, and the forecast can be summed up with the word hot for the next few days. There are a few subtleties, including the possibility of some brief cooling from some thunderstorms, but the excessive heat watch will continue, and that's our main weather headline. In the afternoon and early evening hours, heat index values will be near 100, combining the heat and the humidity. And that is going to be the case right through the rest of the work week, through Friday. It looks like a cold front approaches us on Saturday. It will give us a little bit of relief. But I mentioned the possibility of some brief temporary relief. Can't rule out a brief shower or thunderstorm this morning. And then as we show you the future cast taking you through about 5 o'clock this afternoon, the green across southeast Michigan indicating that there could be a shower or storm around in a few spots. Now, any storm that does form, could potentially be severe. I'll show you that first alert storm threat in just a moment here. Then we move through the overnight, things settle down, it stays very warm, and then during the day on Wednesday, the 4th of July, the hot weather really kicks in, and it does look like there could be a storm in the afternoon, but I've stopped this future cast right about the time a lot of fireworks displays will get going. At 10 o'clock, I think any storms around will be quickly winding down and should allow the pyrotechnics to be underway without any big problem. Now as we move forward and show you the almanac for this date, 83 and 63 is what's average, but we've been closer lately to the records, and the record for this date is 100. That's at least the record high. You see there the record low. The sun sets at 9.13, and during the course of today, we have a couple of chances for some showers and thunderstorms. Early in the day, probably before about 9 o'clock, it's a possibility, and then after a lot of heat and humidity build back, late in the day and that's the slightly better chance of showers and storms after a humid high of 95 degrees during the afternoon. Now our first alert storm threat shows wind, lightning and hail to be moderate threats today in any storms that develop. I'm not too concerned about the possibility of tornadoes or flooding. We obviously need the rain in a big way. Tonight a 30 percent chance of storms mainly early in the night. A muggy low of 74 and then for the 4th of July humid sunshine 97. The record high is 98 for the 4th of July around here. It's a 30 percent chance of a mainly afternoon storm and then the rest of the seven day forecast it cools ever so slightly Thursday and then right back up not far from 100 on Friday. The cold front comes through during the day Saturday, still 92 and humid, 30% chance of a storm, and relief on Sunday, 85 with lower humidity and mid-80s on Monday as well. That will bring to an end quite a string of 90-degree days, but it doesn't happen until Sunday. Try to stay cool. Of course, remember those that are infirm, those that are elderly, and those that are young. They're under the greatest stress with this heat. And, of course, come back to WXYZ.com for all the latest.